I'm Jeff Del Rosa, and when I found a ProMax tool, as you know, we focus on those repairs that are both challenging and problematic. Such as the case is the broken hold down bolt and a 6.7 power stroke diesel from Ford. Well, what happens is water condenses underneath the valve cover and seeps right down this bolt and settles right in the cylinder head, allowing it to corrode itself or basically weld the two components together. So when you do a decontamination job to remove the fuel injector or a faulty fuel injector, this can break off. When it breaks off, now we're into a major repair. To fix this, oftentimes the cab comes off, the valve cover comes off, the cylinder head comes off, and it goes to a machine shop for repair. And depending upon where you are in the queue of the machine shop, it could be there for three or four days. Nonetheless, you're tying up the truck and your bay for well over a, for well over a week. Being a fleet truck, you can, you can appreciate the fact that the customer would like to put his truck back to work making money versus sitting in your repair shop. Well, Promax understands, so we designed a brand new tool called Nico. What this does is allows you to repair the fuel injector hold down bolt quickly and efficiently. We make it out of 6061 aluminum. It's got a stainless steel flange on the back that's tapered and allows this nylon flange to expand. Simply drop it into the cylinder head right where the fuel injector goes and then simply add these, what we call speed fast bushings. They screw in real quick. You start out with your small bushing, medium, large, which is your tap bushing, and then of course, finally, your tap. And all we're gonna do is chase the threads and restore it to factory new. Removing the assembly, blow the debris clean, and you're all finished in less than an hour. So let's take a 28 hour repair now and do it in less than one hour. Bring the customer's fleet truck back to work quicker and save you precious shop time. Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions, you'll see information on how to contact ProMax Tool at the end.